Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we've got some Dollar Tree items we're going to be reviewing. And these are all for children. So I figure, you know, spring's coming up, they're going to want to go outside, they're going to want to play. Let's see if we can find them some cheap stuff that'll fit your budget that uh, the kids can enjoy. Okay? So, let's tear into them and check them out. Okay guys, what we have here, we've got these five items. This one is a bubble blower. And we have a glowing disc. It's like a frisbee. It's got these, uh, you put those uh, little glow in the dark things on there. Let's put some light on here. We also have the flying propeller with LED. So we're going to try that out. We have the Cyclone Flyer. We'll take those outside here momentarily. And this is kind of uh, kind of cool. You've probably seen these before. Uh, this is a wash rag of some sort. It's a magic towel. You soak it in warm water and watch it watch it grow. It gets big. So I think we're going to do this first. Okay, here we go. I don't know why I thought it said warm water, but I guess it don't matter. Because if you're in a bathtub, uh, it's probably going to be warm. So, but it will be 11 and a half inches by 11 and a half inches, which is about a square foot. Hey kids, if you're watching this, get a, an adult to help you. So, Bruno, you alright? Oh, let's see. This is the Hulk. They have different ones. Alright, so stick it in there and let's see what happens. Let's watch it grow. Let's see if we can see anything happening here. Let's speed this up a little bit. Okay guys, I did find the instructions here. It does say, place in warm water for one minute and gently unfold. So it's been about a minute, maybe a little longer, and it is in warm water, so let's gently unfold this. Better back you out a little bit. Okay. And there we go. Whoops, he's upside down. And there's the hawk. <laughs> and it is about a foot by about a foot by a foot. About a square foot, a foot by a foot. It says smash smash. Okay, so that's cool. It's a cool little rag. Uh, you know, for the kids. I used to get these for my daughter when she was a little bear. And uh but they came in like little tablets. They look like, you know, like a big pill. And it would get almost this big. Not quite, but, you know, it was pretty good size. So, there you go. Hey, right, there's that thing. Now, let's try something else. Alright, this is what we've got next. The bubble blower. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. The bubble blower. Alright, let's check it out. So we pour the bubble liquid into it. Insert two AA batteries. I think I have those. Dip the bubble blower into the bubble liquid. Press the button and activate bubble blower. Let's see, but it 
I noticed it doesn't say in then have one hell of a good time. I don't know why it doesn't say that. Usually they say enjoy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so this is clear. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but that's the bulb thing. And we put, and then we'll dip it in like this. And then we'll blow some bubbles. There's the trigger. So, there's the bubble stuff. And they, they have refills of this stuff. It's a buck as well. Everything you know is in there. That's in there is a buck. So let's uh, let's put some batteries in this thing and we'll see how it works. Okay, we've got the batteries in. There's no guard here. I mean, it doesn't really hurt that bad, but it might scare a kid. Uh, it says age is three and up, so I don't know about having a spinning blade around a three-year-old. Might want to try to stick his tongue in there or something. So. Again, kids, get your parent to help you. Or an adult. Alright, let's dump this in here. Let's get you down here a little farther. Okay, says to fill it up. Alright, it's kind of full. Right. Uh, let's put a little more in here. Alright. Just like this. Now, let's see if we can make bubbles. Cool. Alright. Now, let's try this again, guys. This is kind of fun. When I was a kid, we didn't have little toys like this. We had to get lightheaded by blowing, trying to blow the biggest bubbles. Uh, lasts a while. I mean, it does have awesome bubbles there. Yeah, I like it. Awesome. So this is a thumbs up for a buck. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I like it. This, this is awesome. And give it one more shot here and then we'll move on to something else. Yes, I do like this. Let's see. As long as I get the floor mopped up before Monkey gets home. <laughs> Those are bigger bubbles. Can you catch them? Yes, you can catch them. So. So that's cool. Awesome, I can dig it, guys. Let's move on to item number three. Also, when you're done, it's got this handy dandy little pour spout to pour your stuff. Isn't that cool? Back into the bottle so you don't waste it. Okay, guys, item number three lasts for hours. Add an extra glow to parties, camping, dances, and fireworks. So, it's just really what it is is a frisbee, but it's got these uh, there's little light things in there that light up. Let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. I'm not going to put any light things in it because, well, number one, it's not dark out. Number two, uh, I mean, we're not really going to see if it lights. I'm going to see if you can really throw this thing. But it does have, it does come with the glow sticks. It comes with, uh, and you can buy these for a buck. Um, eight. It comes with eight glow sticks there in there. Those are those things you snap and you can make bracelets or whatnot. But they go inside here. But we're just going to take it and see if it flies. That's my main concern because we know the glow sticks, you know, and we know what they look like. So let's take this outside and check it out. All right, guys, let's see if this thing works. I should have uh, used the other camera for this shot with the external mic, 
but I didn't think about it till just now, so I'm already out here and set up. So let's check this out. Just as I thought. I'm not good at throwing frisbees by any means, but I'm better than that. So maybe for a kid, get it to spin and with lights up at night, you know, might be fun for them. All right, we'll try it one more time. I don't have my camera lady here, so uh, I'm trying to film this by myself. The other things go up in the air, so bear with me when we try those out. Alright guys, for a buck, for a kid to play with, I think the best thing to do is just buy the glow sticks. Because I think you can get a pack of eight, six or eight glow sticks for a buck. Just get them those. They'll pull the glow sticks out of that and just play with them. But for a buck, yeah, I mean, sure, why not, right? Give it to them and see. But like I said, I, I my guess is they'll pull the glow sticks out and play with them. Right. Let's go with item number four now. Item number four, the flying propeller with an LED. Let's check this out. So we've got our disc, we've got our zip tang puller thingy. And our little handle. So, guessing you put it through there and you pull it out. We'll check it out here in a minute though. Let's see if this lights up. And it does. But for a buck, looks okay. Let me get the other lights turned off here. There we go. All right, cool. All right, let's take this outside and try it out. All right. Good thing about this is it's got a switch. You can shut it off. And it looks like you may be able to replace that battery, but you're not going to buy one of these button cell batteries for a dollar. So, just deal with it, I guess. All right, so we take this. There's a little slot in there, a little hole. Only one way it can go like this, but I mean it's not going to be able, you can't put it in backwards, it won't work. So, there's a certain way you got to do that there. I don't know if you can see that or not. It goes like that. And that spins, when you pull this out, that spins that. Put your, your dealio through, there's an arrow on there. Okay. Alright. Now let's try this out. Whoa. That went way above the house. So probably went up 10 feet. I'm going to tilt you up a little bit and I'm going to go out here. Okay. It's going up between 8 and 10 feet. I mean, for a kid and for a buck, we're on a budget, birthday party, whatever. Yeah, I like it. Let's see if we can get it to. Yeah. All right, cool. That one gets a thumbs up from me. Yeah, very nice. Buck, I got $5 in this stuff, guys. I mean, you really can't complain too much. But, you know, when they work as well as this does, and like the rag thing, that's cool. Kids love it. Um... The flying disc, kids really don't know how to throw them anyway, but for a buck, so far, yeah. Um, but the flying disc, it's just too small to, to, to for it to fly. Uh, but actually, it's for kids, not adults. So, <laughs> Alright, guys. Now, item number five. Okay, we've got item number five out here. It's the Cyclone Flyer. It's got three different size uh, discs. So let's open these up. 
And this is for ages six and up. So, and it shows you on the back how how you do it. Pretty self-explanatory, but at least it gives you some kind of instructions. Okay. But you gotta put this on first, and that's what you do. You 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 pull that up. So let's put this on here. Let it come down. And then you'll pull this up and that'll get that spinning. Okay? So let's check this out. Okay, cool. It didn't go real high, but it did go kind of, it did stay up for a minute. So I like it, especially anything for a buck. Let's try the blue one, the next size up. Okay, that one went up uh, pretty high. It went on the roof of the house. <laughs> so, let's try the biggest one now. I think I'm gonna try to shoot it over that way, so. Let's get you up here. It's green, I don't know how well you can see it. All right, it went almost to the road. We'll try this again, I'll see if I can get, you know, move the camera and catch it on camera. We'll see. Okay, went on the other side of the car. This is surely a thumbs up easy to use no batteries you don't have to change the batteries you don't have to worry about batteries going dead and your kid going i want a battery for my light and uh all that and go well that battery costs more than the toy did well then i want a new toy and you gotta run out and buy a new toy all because the light don't work no uh so yeah i've got to figure out how to get that thing down off the roof I'm going to venture to say that wasn't my fault. I'm going to say it was the wind's fault. I'm going to go get the other disc. Let's go back in the house. I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, guys. My final thoughts. Uh, everything gets a two thumbs up except for the flying disc. Okay? I give it one thumbs up because it's only a buck. But I was pretty disappointed because it really doesn't fly. It's not balanced. I mean, it's only a, a buck. I understand. I'm not complaining. I just think your kid may see that picture. I mean, you can see it's a little, it's a little kind of bent. I mean, you know, it's not going to fly straight. But I think if your child sees that picture, that thing glowing and look like it's doing 100 miles an hour, and then they try to throw it and it just kind of goes off to the side, you know. I mean, you can do the same thing with a paper plate. But... I mean, for a buck, yeah, it's okay for a buck. I just think they'll be disappointed in it. I, I would buy something else before I bought this for a dollar for the simple fact that, you know, it doesn't fly now. And I'm also giving it a thumbs up because it's a dollar and it comes with the sticks. So even if they don't like the disc, they're going to have fun with these sticks. There's eight of them. They're glowing sticks. So... Yeah, I'll give it a thumbs up, but not two thumbs up. I, I was just kind of disappointed in it a little bit. It feels kind of heavy. You know, they could have made it lighter. But So anyway, for a buck, yeah, sure, thumbs up. This, definitely. This one, two thumbs up. Well, everything else is two thumbs up. This, These uh, flying discs here, uh, I don't know if the light's showing on that. Yes, absolutely. Uh... The blue one went up high. The green one did go high and far. I didn't really pull it that hard because I was in the front yard. Backyard's got a lot of trees. And the blue one did go up on the roof. So make sure you're out in the open. This one can probably be flown inside if uh, you're careful with it. They're plastic. It's not really going to break anything. But if you got a big enough room, they could probably use the small one inside. Maybe in a garage or something. Um, this is cool. I do like this. They have different ones. Um, this one I just happened to grab the haul. I think they got um, Ninja Turtles and a couple other different things. Uh, this one as well. 
I do like it. It does light up. It does go high. And it stays up for, you know, a couple seconds. Um, so, all in all, yeah. The whole package, two thumbs up. This one, one individual. But, for five bucks, you know, and like I said, you can get the refills for a dollar. You can get the refills for this thing for a buck. But, I don't think they're going to even put them in there. I really don't, don't think so. Uh, they might... Maybe the older kids, but the young kids, they're just going to want to play with their glow sticks at dark. So, um, yeah, yeah. So that's pretty cool. I mean, will they last long? I don't know. I don't know how long they'll last before they break. A lot of it depends on how well your your child or your niece, nephew, whatever, uh, takes care of their stuff and how rough they are on, on their things. So, but I, uh, yeah, I, I mean, toys like that. Sure, sure, for a dollar, yeah. I'm sure there are. they do have some toys down there that's not worth a buck. They've got all kinds of stuff like squirt guns and things of that nature. Uh, maybe I'll do another one on the kid stuff and try to find stuff that's not even worth a dollar. That way, I mean, you know, it's only a buck. But let's say you have two or three kids and you want to buy them four or five things each, say for a birthday party or for Christmas or whatever, stocking stuffers. Uh, you know, and then you got $15 in it and 90% of it breaks. Yeah, you, you know, you, you don't want to spend the gas and the time to go back there. And your kid's upset on Christmas morning or on their birthday and they happen to be closed or whatnot. Who, who knows? Um, so, uh, I will look around at the different Dollar Trees. And I don't know if I've been saying Dollar Store, but it is the Dollar Tree. So... But and see if I can find some that maybe you don't want to buy. Uh, same way with some food products from there that you're not going to want to buy, but some things that are good to buy there. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for watching my uh, little episode of the little disc going up on the roof. So <laughs> I'll put that in at the bottom. I got it down off there, as you can see. So, all right, guys, uh, again, uh, thanks for watching, and check out Monkey1000, check her channel out, and check out my Patreon page. So, that being said, uh, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, a legend, I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Have a great week. Now, let's try it out. Let me get back here a little bit. That was a big fail, guys. Big time fail. I'm doing it backwards. Okay.